I would say that I love climbing because there is a lot of freedom. For me, especially as a woman, climbing was really empowering. It's uncountable how fast climbing's growing right now. A lot of international visitors come to Joe's Valley every year along with locals, along with people from coast to coast. We have a lot of climbers during the bouldering season. They come in. Actually, my business is almost doubled when during climbing season. The Joe's Valley Fest was actually born out of an idea from the tourism department. The big mission is to bring locals and climbers together. Our first season was what you'd expect, maybe 30 climbers showing up. We kept pushing through. We kept growing it to where last year, the rodeo stands were full. If it wasn't for the climbers, we wouldn't have opened this. If we just were wanting to start a business, we wouldn't have done it. I think the climbers benefit the whole area. They not only bring business to me for you know dining, uh, gas stations benefit from them. Everybody really benefits. Emory County has benefited from increased tourism and we see that becoming a bigger piece of the economic pie. Without the grant for um, outdoor recreation, it wouldn't have happened. There's other grants that's bigger than that and they've done that on trails, access to these bouldering sites, and now even the states come through and they did a bunch of turnouts so there's places to park so it's safer for everybody involved. Without those kind of partnerships, would still be just a, a one-horse town. The climbing in Joe's Valley is limitless, but without that Utah grant money, we can't build a trail system to get there. And it's just gonna cause this whole chain reaction of just wanderers. And with those wanderers, that's gonna cause an environmental impact that could get too far. So without that Utah grant money, we're kind of at a loss. The funding received for these grants, it's not just something that the users feel, it's something the community feels as well. As tourism starts to increase, it's gonna be an incredible economic asset for Emory County and its citizens. Most of Emory County and the swell is really off the beaten path. You have to go through some effort in order to get here, but believe me, it's well worth the effort.